All right, so welcome back. Even I don't even know if we left anyway. All right, so my guest. I mean, so these guys are not really guests. Lady and guy, not really guests. They are a part of the show, right? Of the TV show. So I have with me on my left. Sorry, ladies first. Ladies. Anyone. <laughs> so Anyone. tell our people at home what your name is. Hey guys, my name is Black J, and I'm a radio presenter. I know your All right. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay, so me, I'm Dimladi. I'm a cook and a graphics designer. Did you say yeah. cook? cook? Cook. Oh, you're a cook, okay. Cook. He <laughs> cooks food. Yeah, food. Like, like a cook. pasta. <laughs> you get food, like a taro de snare. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, welcome. Like, um, today's topic, quickly. <sighs> so, I'll read out the background and okay. explain one or two things, you know, okay. so we can do this. All right. Are you familiar with the 90 day rule, 90 day sex rule? Yeah. All right. So, not so much. Not so much. All right. So I saw this tweet or this thread that that asked, "Where do broke guys get sex from?" And the answer was, "From girls who are not prostitutes, I guess." Now hold that thought. Now, <laughs> now, now hold that. Hold that thought. Now, the ninety day sex rule says that um, when you are trying to get into a relationship, mm -hmm. um, you should delay having sex yep. until ninety days. So that you can figure out if you guys align in other areas before you talk about sex and all yeah, of that. Yeah. Now, my question is pretty simple. Understanding the peculiar scenario situation that we seem to find ourselves in, where the I need to care gently, <laughs> you know, um, only for I mean, all of those things that yeah. are happening. Babi is it? Is it is a 90 day sex rule possible in our climbs? Is it can it hold? Can it stand? Yeah, definitely. I feel like if you're trying to be in a serious relationship, sex should not be the first thing you're looking out for. You have to get to know the person, you guys have similarities, and then sex should be like the cherry on top of the cake. But if it's just a casual relationship and then you want to give the person 90 days before you have sex, I don't understand where that is coming from so all right so there's a difference between a casual relationship yes no if you're trying to marry the person you want to be in a committed relationship then you waiting for three months is not a problem the person should not even think it's a problem because if you're telling this person you're not ready and he is making it a problem or she's making it a problem then the person just wants sex that's in my own opinion all right um what if <laughs> after the 90 days you have sex with the person and the sex is shitty but just Hold it, uh. hold it. So what do you think? Can it work? 90, 90 days so, sex, uh, um, broke guys getting sex from non-prostitutes, our culture of that one. To be very honest, uh, mm -hmm. in our age, not really. Not really? Not How? Because really. at the end of the day, it's important. If after that 90 days, you now actually have the sex one, the sex is trash. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to stay there or are you going to move on? It depends on how you prioritize it. If it's more interesting to you, you can stay. If the gist is sweeting you, you'll stay. If the nax is trash enough to send you away, the 90 days have wasted. Oh, wow. So did the 90 days waste if the sex is trash? See, the thing is, sex is not a, it's not a, 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 a permanent thing. It's something that you can improve on. Okay, okay, fine. After 90 days, you have sex and the sex is bad. Who says you cannot watch you videos and learn? You cannot. That improvement period. If you are trying to be in a committed relationship, waiting should not be a problem. You are working on the relationship. Even the relationship is not even perfect. You are working. It will never be perfect. So the sex can. So the sex be... can never be perfect. It might be perfect if you are lucky. And oh, it's not perfect. But you are willing you to take that risk. It. Yes, now what's there? Okay. If the person has every other quality you are looking for in a partner, and it's just the sex that is bad, it's like cooking food now. You try. Oh, that if it's that one, then you can be the main, you know, pro hey, activator. Hey. If for you to even know that the sex is bad, that means you know what good sex is. So teach the person mm. to know mm. what good sex mm. is. Mm. <laughs> mm. We are deep. But now let na let's now come back to the naira part of it. Okay. Now in in those ninety days, do you expect gifts? Do you expect him to spend money on you? Uh uh. <laughs> it's not. Eh? Okay. Okay. I mean, if he if if he. I feel like he should be that guy. Personally, oh. That's guy. Yes, That's now, what? if a guy is trying to woo you, now I'm speaking from the, from the perspective of 
a community relationship now, not a casual relationship. Okay. Because if it is casual. So wait, hold on, hold on. See, no see, hold on, wait. You keep talking about committed versus casual. Yes. How do you know the difference between a committed relationship and a casual relationship? Mm -hmm. In mm -hmm. a casual relationship, there are no expectations. Oh, You're so not trying how, to I mean, how does be with it? This so basically, it's like talking stage with Knox. You're not even you're not even in a stage. You're just there. How There's did you no get stage. there? How did you get there? Because without you, you because you both want the, the talking is normal human relation. You must talk. You must communicate. Okay. But you're not talking because you're in a committed relation or in a serious relation. You're talking because you guys need to have a conversation. A not conversation that leads to sex. No, no. Now the sex will happen, but it doesn't. So wait, mean how does the sex now happen? Because mm. you both want it. Because you both want it. No, no. Because see, if uh, as a girl you don't want the sex, then why are you with a person that does not want a relationship for me and just wants sex? So no, no, you don't get. So a guy comes you to you. Mm. A guy comes to you and asks you, okay. So how does a guy that wants casual relation, casual relationship come to you versus how does a guy that, that wants, wants committed committed relationship? How, how how what's the difference in those two? Uh -huh. The conversation. Mm. If you're in a committed relationship, if the person wants a committed relationship or you want a committed relationship, you would know how to steer the conversation. You're talking about long term plans. You guys are making plans together. What are when your likes, you are your dislikes? Talking about long term plans. It depends on you. Wait, hold yeah, on, I feel hold like on, hold on, hold on. The, is that all you guys, this when you guys, days? Wait, when hold you guys on, are wait, vibing, like hold on, wait, the conversation hold on. should just black, go there black naturally. Black black hold on. You as a guy, yes. You meet girl. Mm -hmm. Either you want to knock or you want to. Just stay there yeah. and you know mm. build house mm. and she tells you 90 days nothing oh my man i'll come back after that 90 days <laughs> it's the simplest thing i cannot be wasting time it is yes or no simple Wait, in this okay, life is that, like, if you, is that if you just want to have sex yes want, yes want yes if it's just not it. if i'm a girl and you come to me and i tell you 90 days and you decide to go when you come back that coming back you're not coming back anywhere you're no see that's the thing the coming back is with sense you, it's small introduction. Like you just every now and then you see start to just say, "Hey, how far?" Just sharp, sharp. Small yeah, talk. Is life. After the ladies be smart. If, oh. if you say ninety days and the guy goes away and comes back after three months, it's not. Let's Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, let's, let's not get a bit a bit more serious. The guy that knows that all he wants is knacks. Mm. He knows. He just and wants he to lash. Yes, that's. He just wants to, you know, lash a bummer. You know, just. Once and you're not telling him 90 days or nothing, and the guy in his mind says, Ah, this girl, I will deal with this girl. I don't even think if you are looking to have a serious relationship or a casual relationship, and a guy comes to you, you should not be telling the guy 90 days. You do it in your mind and put the guy through 90 days. If he stays, no, wahala. you don't need to tell him that 90 days sex or no sex. You do what you need to okay, do. So you, you know don't... what you're trying to do. Okay, okay, so, but... Most guys that don't want anything serious will not last for three months. Hold on. Just talking to We're... you. And when I mean, want from, the, from guys so guys that we have heard months. of. We know that, you know, some guys, right, can stay for like one year. That on the cage. Like, oh, ah, wait, wait, wait. The guy will just stay. No, no, no. Wait. I mean, we have heard this story. The guy will just stay around. I mean, you, until. I mean, it's, it's like this girl. This girl, this girl is stubborn. I mean, I'll just stay around. One year, one year, and then by the time the girl, one year knock. by the time the girl, the guy knock like this, one month after she has moved on. One uh, month, well, one week. Well, <laughs> well, if that happens to you as a guy, okay, so there's this guy that has been hanging around. He doesn't want anything serious, but he claims. No, he like wants a, something serious. He's no, dating. You guys are dating. Serious, you don't get. You guys are dating. Okay. Yes, dating. Full, full fledged dating. And then after one year, you guys have sex, and then he runs away. I mean, he just ends yeah, it. And tell. I mean, some know. guys would actually tell you. <laughs> That's the end of nah, story. Nah, fuck, I fuck you. Hey, count your losses and move on. No big deal. Okay, so uh, now I get. Now you get this. Does the ninety day rule now work? I think it works now. in most cases. Mm. There are some guys that can wait for that long. Those ones are special cases. Yes. But in most cases, personally, I feel like if a guy does not want anything from you and you decide not to have sex for ninety days, and people are talking every day, seeing every day, he will get tired. Eventually, he will say it or try to do something like what's up now and then you will know where exactly his head is at whether he's trying to have sex or he's trying to be with you for the long run that's what I think how important is sex in a relationship? sex is... it's pretty important okay to me because it's just... I mean there's a time when this thing is not going to be everything at that point in time that's yeah. when that's when it comes inside. You are communicating without talking. Did you just say communicate? Like, <laughs> it's communication. Mm. It's sweating, man. You understand? Like, it's just straight. You see each other, you just... 
flip it over. Mm, I'm flipping sharp, it. Sharp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like his pancake, yeah, flipping. You good? All right. Okay. So sex is so important, right? Now let's take it to the numbers part. Girl is not giving you coochie, mm -hmm. vagina, pussy, mm -hmm. right? You are not able to penis, mm. and she's demanding. demanding like the average people of nowadays. See, eh? first off, that demand. If it is something that I feel like okay, there's nothing there, I can be doing it like because I'm your friend, not because of now. But when you now turn it to, oh. You I will knock you this. and, and this give is what that. is going to come out. Mm -hmm. That's when it becomes stupid because at the end of the day, are you not enjoying yourself with these knocks? If you're not enjoying yourself, I don't understand. But then you are enjoying yourself. So why am I going to pay? <laughs> now, Amalia has said it before. That what? Hmm. I can't speak your bar. Why not? I say it in English, but you understood what he said. Yes, he said. That shall not fuck a so. Finish it now, you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Finish it from my Amalia. I don't know. I'm actually not taking a belt. All right, so you're not wearing belt. Oh, wearing okay, so try and say it again. Oh, yeah, say it. Okay, so basically, it is. Uh, how do you say this thing, Yoruba? God. You cannot have sex when both of us are enjoying each other and you not say you're a child. Oh, embrace. yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. It's I get John Molugo. I don't know how to say that thing. Oh, okay, but then cool. that's like the okay. meaning. Okay. Meaning. Okay. Okay, okay. cool. Cool. Um, lady. Yeah. You know, there's this popular opinion, very popular, almost normalized, that once a guy says he likes you, he owes you money. Hmm? <laughs> right? I think, yeah, it's a popular opinion for most, for some people. Yes. Once a guy comes to a girl and says, ah, babe, I like you, I want to date you, the babe just in her mind believes that the guy owes. Ah, yeah. money. Right, she becomes yeah. entitled. Yeah. Right. Know. So now, if the guy who feels that I'm coming, I've come to tell you I like you, mm -hmm. and you too, you owe him sex. Mm. Where is the balance? Ninety day rule. Where is the balance? That's all. The, all that thought. Remember that there's this tra um, WhatsApp chat that trended at some point where a guy and a girl, the girl, the guy was demanding with full rights mm -hmm. for, for for sex from the girl. The girl was saying no. And the guy was threatening the guy, the girl, and mm -hmm. telling the girl that if they born you well, uh -huh. if he swore for you, uh -huh. break up. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that. Um, I saw that chat too. He buy, he pays for our rent, yeah. everything, yeah. everything. Yeah. They don't yes. live together, yes. but he pays for everything. Yes. Yeah. So he now, said, the what do you offer in this relationship? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That, that thing hit home. Yeah. Okay, so mm. she couldn't talk. Who couldn't talk? The the girl. Girl. <laughs> okay, so, so let's 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 talk about this. I feel like I mean, you yeah. believe that the guy just owes you money. This life that we came to, you came by yourself. As a lady, first of all, you are done with school. You are supposed to have a job. Yeah, what if you are not done with school? Or even if you are in school, you shall have allowance. Get side also be doing something. You are supposed to be getting money for wait, yourself. Wait, hold on. Wait, before you go hey, far, you are starting to first. preach. No, I'm not preaching. <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, oh, because the question they no. ask. How oh, <laughs> resist the urge to shalaye? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not preaching. I'm trying to, I'm getting somewhere. Okay. okay. If okay. you as a girl, you have your own or the little that you have, it can take care of you. First of all, you will not be worried about a man either staying or not staying because he's giving you something or not giving you something. That's the first part. Now, if you feel like you're in a relationship and then what you get in that relationship is financial benefits and in exchange you give sex, I don't think it's a relationship. Oh. What's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as good there, as a, yeah, type of yeah, 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 as good as a street worker. But if there is more to the relationship, and then you expect your partner to take care of, it's a different thing entirely. Because I don't see why you'll be dating a girl, you can afford to take care of her. You guys are in a relationship with your girlfriend, and you, you don't want to do that because she's, I don't understand. I no, feel like it's, you, it's no, you don't get, get you don't get wanting to take care what of your partner. Said, what he said. Let me just even explain the chat to you. The guy, the girl was complaining that all he sees in her is sex. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, you know that something's wrong. Yeah. My guy then goes, he even at first she's like, okay, sorry, but let us try to work it out. Then she keeps on saying she's never going to knock him at all for like weeks. My guy now then gets angry and says, Your clothes, I buy them. Your mm -hmm. laundry, I pay for that. Your house where you live, I pay for that. What do you offer in this relationship? He put that question to her, what did she have to say? That's not what we're talking about now. At that point in time, has she not made a fool of herself? 
she has based exactly. on this conversation. So can we separate sex from money? Mm-hmm. Yes, now you do. No, you make money from having sex. Sex and money, they are two different things. Okay, so... But if your partner decides that, or if you are in a relationship and your partner can take care of you, yes, you guys have expectations. You should be able to take care of you if you can No, I don't understand. You. No, so that take care of you. What? Does, what is the expectation of a guy that is taking care of a girl? Yes. You guys are in a relationship. No, yes, no, no. Eat, like, you don't understand. She's not doing anything. She doesn't even work. Why wouldn't you be doing anything? Are you a housewife? But then she doesn't even work. No, if that, I, no, no hold on. I did not know that my guy no, is not that is collecting. The fault of the girl. Okay, so no, she works. In that particular scenario, it's the fault of the she girl. Works. Because, okay, she works. She okay. works. She works. But she's still entitled to the money. Is she entitled to the money? <laughs> Let me use myself as an example. Okay. If I'm dating a man who mm. we're in a serious relationship, and the guy... committed mm. relationship, I expect you as my partner to care about my well-being. Yes. Mm-mm. The same way I expect you to care about my own well-being. Hey, now, <laughs> I mean, let's just be happy. So basically, now. Oh, hold on, hold on. So how do I care about your own well-being? You take care of me now. So how? You so how do you ta- how do you not take what care do of my well-being? What do women like? Women like to look good. You take care of the so woman. So how do you not take care of my well-being? What do you want? It depends on the and man now. But good. bless you, <laughs> sex. <laughs> but then that, in that in that scenario, you cannot tell me that that is all I'm giving to you because I'm showing you love by having sex with you. Does not mean that is all I'm giving to but you. But it's getting paid. I'm showing you love. No, the guy... about a committed relationship. Now, okay. I'm showing you love. That is what you require to No, that's not all. No, that's not all. Hold on, wait. Oh, no, I want food? to look good. I want to, I like, go food. to nice places. I want to do all of those things. I mean, like, you know, paid vacations, right? <laughs> We're well, in a patriarchal society. It's oh. a man that... <laughs> oh, so you're not so a feminist. You're not, no, no, a feminist. No, 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 not a feminist. No, 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 oh, wow. No, 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 okay. In that case, hold on, hold on. So, so wait. Are you saying that on behalf of the female folks, that patriarchy should continue as long as the lady is getting paid and getting... Everything that has an advantage has disadvantage. I'm not saying in all its totality, patriarchy mm. is right, because there are still some things that have to be checked. Okay. But I'm a firm believer that if I have a man, a man has his role, the woman has her role. I'm not going to come and start taking, taking care of all our bills because I'm an independent woman. I have my own role, I can assist. And that, that one is but you have your role and I have my own role. That's it's even how in I the Bible it. says. Uh-huh. It's in the Bible and that's my own personal belief. That's your personal doesn't belief. doesn't mean I don't have my own money. doesn't mean if the man decides to leave, I cannot take care of myself. No. Okay. All yeah, right. Okay. So, in short, I mean, I like the shalai you just did. That nobody yeah, asked no. you. But we're, we're talking about this. I have to shalai. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. See, you don't get. I mean, it's totally unrelated. Unrelated shalai. No, it is related. Because, no, because, related. because, because you are still saying that you have a right to the guy's money, but the guy doesn't have yes, a right. We're in a committed relationship. Mm-mm. Hold on. In a re- committed relationship, the guy has a. You have a right okay, to the wait, guy's money. Wait. Yes, if he said committed his money, casual relationship. Casual relationship. Nobody owes anybody anything. There's no expectation. It is a casual relationship. The guy did not come to say. Okay, it's a casual relationship. A yes. But then I have not taken. No, you have asked me, and I have not taken the steps to help you mm-hmm. to get accommodation, mm-hmm. food, and clothes. Okay, now yes. you've done that. Why do you feel you have a right to our body? See, yeah, I did not come to life to suffer. You have your father. I have my father. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Please, how will I buy? Sorry, how will I even pay your rent? Rent in Lagos? Oh, no, yeah, no, sorry, no, no, it's no, Okay, let's not say it's You are taking her out, you are paying. You no, know, if Wait, you decide to pay the rent, it's because you can afford it. No, hold on. That to rent she, is big. That's why right. right. I said she asked she first. first. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Rent is big. I mean, you take her out. If you buy food, mm-hmm. you clothe that. Smooth. Yeah, so at that point, does she owe you sex? At that point in time, the first thing that I should ask myself is, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. If the reason I'm doing it is sex, I have to let her know on time. Because I cannot go and get to front after I've now built house. Not tell me that I'm not going to collect anything when I came here for sex. Yeah. You get it. just doesn't work like that. Always let the other person know. It all boils down to communication. If you have not said, okay, I'm doing this thing for Nax, that's when you fuck up. Mm-hmm. But if you already said it, that what's up? You know that I actually just want to lash. But then you ask for this thing and I'll provide them. At the end of the day, my knacks have to be guaranteed. So in short, at this point, that means that sex is transactional. Yes. Right? If he tells the lady that I'm here for this, so, and she says, okay, do this for me. Yes, it is transactional. Or if the lady starts collecting, 
and, and then you know that all you are giving this. No, you don't have to know. I mean, you don't have to know now. I mean, like it's me. normal. If the lady is collecting. The lady knows that at the end of the day, is there supposed to be a no? Back. Okay, wait. So you are, is, are you saying now that the standard is the guy gives money, the girl collects sex? No, it's not. Oh, a sorry, standard. the girl gives sex. It's not a standard. Okay, so what, what I'm, saying? I'm saying is every relationship has to be defined. What is the mm -mm. relationship you are having? Gen See, all these ones you are doing plenty English. Generally, I mean, he has agreed There's to it. General. Hold on, he has, he has agreed that for guys, so when the guy is spending money, no. and spending money, I mean, it's not just about spending money. Like yo. generally, it is already agreed. Like it is already stated. So the relationship is already at defined. one point in time. At one point in time, maybe you are dating. Even if you are dating, but then you are the one spending all the money, right? Mm -hmm. So at that point, you know that I mean, the knacks are short. It's a short though, right? It's a short though. The guy in the relationship believes that once he's spending money, the knacks is assured. Are you assuring the guy? No, of no. But why? If we have that conversation, as I said, the relationship has to be defined. If you guys have the conversation, the guy tells you, this is what I want to, and then you, you state your own expectation, this is what I want. You guys agree. It's transactional. Go to school. That's if, how these girls use big English to score no, your head. No, no, it is the fact now. If you guys have the conversation, you both come to an agreement. It is a mutual agreement. You guys are both adults. Then it is transactional. If it's a casual relationship that is just sex, both of you want, you both know that it is just sex. There are no expectations. It is casual. If it is a committed relationship, it is not just sex. Sex is part of it. Yeah? It's a byproduct of you, you want to express your love to your partner. You give sex. But it is not what the relationship is about. Doesn't mean the guy will not take care of you. That is a committed relationship. There's more to it than sex and money. Okay, so I just I like what you just said. The guy will take care of you. You guys take care of each other. Your first, your mm -mm. first instinct <laughs> said the guy would take I'm, care. See, of right now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not being biased. I'm trying to balance. Because this whole most thing. times, the reason why I said that is because most times, what guys require is nothing to do with material things. A lot of guys, what they want in terms of appreciation is sex, gratification. That is why I said the guy would mm -hmm. take care of because it is more the lady. It is, it is more in the place of the lady to require request uh, material things. So what else? Ladies, I mean, we like material. What things. else can the lady offer? The guy. If it is a committed relationship, no, no, let's let's even forget all, committed relationships now. No, no, but let's, the relationship has to be defined. No, now. let's even forget committed okay, let's relationships leave that aside. now. Let's leave that uh, aside. Even if it's what's that word? Is definition casual? Casual relationship. Okay, casual. Mm. Even if it is casual, mm -hmm. at what point in time does it become he's taking care of me? And what is he's and taking why care? Why is it? I mean, so me? um, then what am I offering? If he decides, hold on. You know what? You know, no, hold on. You know what? Okay. You know what? We need to wrap up the. Yeah, we need to. We need to like wrap up. Okay. This particular episode. I mean, I like the fact that I mean, there's no consensus. So what you do right now is state your questions, your concerns. You also state your questions, your concerns, your stand, mm -hmm. and uh, of about everything that we've said, and then let's leave it up to people to tell us. Okay. You know how is there is there like a midpoint? So who goes first? Ladies. <laughs> I'm not sexy, Sean. You said I should state my questions. Your questions, your concerns, your stand as a lady on Basically, all of these things. Want, Personally, as a, as a lady, I feel like a man does not need to tell you what to think or how to think. If you're getting into a relationship, what is it that you want in that relationship? Have you guys talked about it? Okay, there's a guy coming to you and he wants to date you, blah, blah, blah. What kind of date does he want? Is it long-term date, short-term date? Is there sex involved? You have to list down all these things to know what you are expecting and what you are willing to give. If it does not pay you, not, nobody will kill you if you walk away. If it pays you, then you, but you guys have both agreed that this is the kind of relationship you want. And then you can move forward with it. That is my own stance. So whether it is casual, committed, as long as you're both agreeing on it, then it is fine. All right, so, I mean, if it's transactional the girls should come out straight and agree to the transactions it is your business you're both adults all right, all right so my own question here to the ladies what do you offer in a relationship generally this is, is this not kind of uh, wait is you mean you say your own <laughs> i didn't interrupt say your own i mean say for your for you for me uh, for guys for you what you know? do you offer in a relationship to the women who what do you offer in a relationship then to my ogs what are you looking for in a relationship if it's just Knox, no, like, sorry, apart from Knox, what else can you find in a relationship? That's another thing. Like, you know how they, okay, she said, Don't women, she said, okay, you said your own. Women are entitled to money is a thought that people have. Why? That's my own question. Mm, okay. Yeah, to ladies, are you? Yeah. What, of, what are you now saying no, for guys? No, that's general. So what are you saying for guys? Yes. So guys, should guys continue with 
be smart actually, about how you are going to be, you know, moving. You have to be smart about it. Know in the beginning whether she's going to drop or not. If she's going to drop, you sabi your own OT. If she's not going to drop, sabi your own OT. That's what I have to say to the guys. All right, great. So, um, bonus, bonus. Period sex, yes or no? Yeah. Have you tried it before? Yeah. Period sex, I'm yes or no? no anyways. Yeah, most was no. Yeah. Period sex, definitely not. Okay. All right, so. Thank you so much. First episode of the After Dark Ministries uh, video series. Ah, we tried. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you much for coming over. Me. Thank you so much. Chop Chop So guys, you know, hold on, hold on. Period sex. They do them, yes or no? Yeah, you're born again. You don't do period sex. Oh, you know they, you know they fuck. I'm, I'm married. <laughs> period sex. Don't buy you, Jerry, Baba. Baba, you do period sex. I'm saying, Wow. After two, <laughs> virgin. I like your virginity. Strong uh, one. I like your virginity. Bros, bros. Period sex. You do <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this. One. Are you a virgin? Are you really a virgin? Really? Wow. Can you we show his face? To advertise, no, 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 to advertise your virginity. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we'll see you very, very soon. Black J, you're amazing, right? Thank you for having me, Shag. Damn me, it's good. Chop him. Yeah, you to chop knuckle so that you won't say I didn't give you knuckle to chop. Coronavirus, not supposed to be chopping knuckle. Oh, that's true. There's virus. Oh yes, one of these days we'll address that. Peace, Rev. Loves you guys.